Hi everyone, it's Connie Holen from Pixality Design, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a MindBody login register link to the navigation of your Squarespace 7.1 website. So the procedure for doing this is a little bit different whether you're on Squarespace version 7.0 or 7.1. You know you're on 7.1 when the expansion arrow is in the top right of the screen, this little arrow that takes you from full screen to admin mode. If it's in the top right, you're in the right place. This is a 7.1 site. If your expansion arrow is in the top left of your screen, it's over here, you have a version 7.0 site and you need to go back to my post and you need to do the instructions for the 7.0 websites. So for the 7.1 site, we are going to first, we'll just reference my blog post here. I'm just going to walk you through it. So we're going to get to your website, get logged into Squarespace, and we're going to go to settings advanced code injection. So this is where we're adding the code um, in different spots to get this to work on the 7.1 site. So that's the first step is to open up that screen and then we're going to paste the following into that code injection footer block. So copy this whole bit here, that's command C on a Mac, and go down to the footer area down here of this code injection. We're going to paste it in there. We're going to come back to this. You can see I have a placeholder here that says add your code here. We're going to come back to that. So we're not going to do anything. We're just going to pause right there. We'll come back to the tutorial. And next we're going to log into our branded web account. So this is where your, this is a sub account of your MindBody account, which is where all of your widgets and your purchasing links that stay on your site. This is where you generate this code from. So you're going to make sure that you're logged into your branded web account and then you're going to head to the links tab. From the links tab, you're going to make, choose the login register link. You can also choose different things here like a gift card, a buy now, but for this tutorial, we're going to keep it on the login register link. And then you're going to scroll down here to this code part. This is where we're going to be working. If at this point you want to call this link on your website something different than login register like my account, you can just type that in here and it will update the code. So um, do that now if you want to change that. Otherwise, in this example, we're going to keep it as login register. All right, so we're now to the correct place in our branded web account. We've selected login register. Now we're on step five. We're going to copy the first part of the code um, that looks like this, and we're going to paste it into the header part on Squarespace. So we're going to go back here. This code is broken into two different little pieces of code. It looks like all the same to you. Um, but they do need to go in different spots. So we're going to just copy this very top part right here. Um, this is the same that's in the blog post, uh, so you can um, just copy it from there if you want to. It's the same for everybody. But this part that starts with the, the pointy bracket script and then it ends over here with a slash script here. This is the part we want to copy. We're not going to copy the rest of it right now. We just need to get that script. This is like a default mind body script that's running, and we just need to make sure that that's running um, in the header portion of our code injection. So we'll go back to this code injection. We haven't really done anything here, but pasted this down in here. Now we're going to come up and we're going to paste that bit, just that, that script bit, up into the header portion. Okay, so now we are complete with step five. We're going to move on to step six and we're going to go get the rest of that code. So back to branded web. Now we're going to copy the rest of that code, the part that starts with uh, another angled bracket heel code widget and ends with login register slash uh, angled bracket. So we're going to get this whole thing. This is the part that has your mind body site ID. It's got the information saying we want it to be a login register link. It's got stuff that's specific to your business. So you want to make sure that you copy that exactly how it is. Heading back into Squarespace. Now we've got this whole code that I gave you down here. We're going to go to the footer portion and we're just going to replace where it says add your code here. We're going to highlight that and we're going to replace it, command V on a Mac, uh, with that code that we copied over from branded web. Notice that I replaced it within those parentheses. Those little single parentheses need to stay there. So we just literally replaced the replace add your code here text that I had in there. Okay. So just to kind of review what we've got here, we've got the very first part of your branded web link code here, the script to end script. We've got that up in the header portion of your code injection. And then we have this code that I wrote that is in the blog post. Uh, we've got that into the footer and we've replaced the replace your code here part with the second half of the code, the second part of the code from your branded web account. So once we've got all that in, we'll hit save. 
and we will refresh that page. And then you'll see your login register link is up in the navigation. There it is, it pops up. If we go to your mobile navigation, we click the overlay. Yep, it's there also, which is great. It works on both mobile and desktop. All right, I hope that helps and go to it.